My guests at the bottom of this hour are Karim Nujim and Israel Amrin. Karim, are you also in the Israeli uh, army or something? Oh, no, not at all. I'm not military at all. Oh, oh you're a Cincinnatian. I'm a Cincinnatian, yes. You're here because you talk normal. You know, you talk like... <laughs> well, I, I, at least I do my best to talk, to talk, talk normal. Talk normal. Yeah. And then also from the Israeli army. Are you going back home at some point here? Yeah, at uh, Monday. Uh, at Monday, I go fly home. And then what do you do when you go home? Back to the military? Back uh, to my dojos and uh, to my uh, wife and kid. And you, you just, mm -hmm. you're just like an Israeli guy. You're, yeah. You're over there. Normal Israeli guy. If the army need me, he call me and I come. You come. All right. Uh, let's continue. We have joining us allegedly, according to Russ Jackson, Rich Franklin in a little bit, 513-749-7000. The key is the... Um, since night karate, and there's a seminar today. Is that correct, Karim? Yeah, we have. Uh, well, the seminar is not today. The seminar is actually on Sunday. For Sunday. The one that's open to the public for the public. And like I said, CincinnatiKarate.com is where everyone can get the information they need. But today, Rich Franklin is actually coming to our school at Cincinnati Karate to take some pictures at 3 o'clock and also sign some autographs. So if people want to show up and come see Rich Franklin, we would love to have anyone there. Where is it located, if anywhere, in Blue Ash? It's, uh, does it, if you know where the Udenai Dairy Farmers is in Blue Ash, on Kenwood Road at the corner yeah. of Kenwood and Hunt, right. we are tucked right behind there. Behind the UDF, behind right, the kind UDF. of in downtown Blue Ash. I'm sorry? All, downtown Blue Ash, yes. pretty close, so it's behind mm -hmm. that. Yep. Well, I may check it out because I could use some defense. I have some nasty, filthy people here at the station that I would like to take care of, and I'm thinking you guys could teach me a few moves that I have to employ against Jeff Henderson or Segman Dennison. Tracy Bill. Jones comes in here. Tracy Jones, like 6'3", <laughs> 225 pounds, thinks he's an Adonis. So you're saying if you give me some of these tips, some of these moves, I could have him crying on the floor in a heartbeat. It, with dedication? Possibly, yes. Possibly. <laughs> he would go straight down. That's For it. Sure. And Bill, even, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't sure that everybody want to hurt you. Bill, you are a great they, American. I, I am a great American, but and, people uh, want to hurt me here constantly. They want to. They're jealous. They're filled with envy. They see me on top. They want to knock me down a little bit. You know. Come to learn Krav Maga. Uh, I, 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 might, <laughs> I, I might. I might learn Krav Maga, and all of a sudden, I tear off your ear. Just pull it off the side <laughs> of your head, and then you got a little more respect. We got your got your head bleeding. Right? It's not good. Nah, Have you been in street okay. fights before? Have you been in them? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, from Israel and from the army, so I got some uh, against some uh, Arabics, against bowling. Um, I have some. I have, have some. Have you ever lost? No, and uh, I no. The Krav Maga saved my life a lot of times, a lot of times, and I very uh, appreciate my uh, teacher that uh, bring me to what I am for the Krav Maga. And, uh, so you'd be, hard, is... you'd be hard to beat right now in the street, mm -hmm. even for a guy like me. Yeah. It'd be pretty hard to beat. <laughs> but you could kick Rich Franklin's ass in the street. Uh, I like you. <laughs> I think you could. Uh, Rich, for you as well, Rich so. Franklin's not that tough. I don't think the guy's that tough. He's, uh, he's great. He's great. I saw his fights. And uh, I have a lot... Uh, to learn from him and the yeah. opposite and the opposite he can learn a lot from me last time i saw him fight he was knocked from saturday night into monday afternoon it can be for I mean, he was, everybody he was knocked all over he was like a punch drunk fighter he was knocked all over the place it's happened it's happened all right let's continue <laughs> billy cunningham with kareem Nujim and uh, israel amarin about karate about krav maga and more on news radio 700 WLW. And, and Karim, this is important for kids, especially boys, and I think girls to an extent, to learn basic self-defense to defend themselves in schools, correct? I, I mean, I really think it is, it, it is important. Not, And there's a lot of people who will say that, oh, well, if you give kids these tools, that they're going to start settling basic differences with their fists instead of words. And I'm sorry, I unfortunately don't buy that. Uh, to me, it's you give people these tools. Those who are respectful of this will never have a problem with it. And those who aren't, aren't the ones who should be learning it to begin with. Right. It's self-defense. It's not exactly. attacking someone. It's defending exactly. yourself. And, and many kids need this needed information, and schools aren't teaching it. And we have presidential tribunals, presidential panels. We have all this stuff going on. That's not the point, is it? You can't stop it. What you have to do is defend yourself against it. I would just rather – all I would – all I would know is that, you know, I was picked on a lot when I was younger in school as well. And I, what I believe is that I can rely on myself. I don't want to have to rely on other people to come save me. If I you, can, know, you don't want to go tell the teacher and go tell the principal and tell your mommy and daddy. 
Right. No, I would rather be able to have confidence in myself. And if that's the case, if you do have self-confidence, that's going to earn you respect from, from the, from the good kids around you. And those good kids will rally around you. And before you know it, the ones who are bullying you are going to feel slightly outnumbered. And once that happens, they're going to move on. You're no fun anymore. If you're in a bar fight tonight at midnight in Clifton, would you rather have Rich Franklin with you or Israel Amarin? Which one in a bar fight? I love Rich, but I'm sorry. Hands down, Israel. Really? <laughs> really. Thank you. Really? <laughs> so this guy is a bad dude. He didn't. He looks a small little guy. Got a nice little haircut. Not very. I but surprise he, you. He surprised me because you, you you look a little strong, but uh, you know you're just a you little. You don't guy. have to be a big guy to defend yourself. Just a little like like you know, like Russ Jackson. Everyone picks on him constantly. If he knew your <laughs> arts and sciences, Tracy Jones would be in trouble. Mm-hmm. Could, could I have a third option? Could I, could I also opt for myself if, if neither of them are available? You? Yes. <laughs> you can take care of yourself. I, I believe so. I've been taking this for over a year, uh, for almost a year now. And in addition to another martial art that I've been taking for several years. And yeah, with the efficiency, I've learned, like Israel said, just give you one year and you will have the basics down. And those will in most cases, keep you alive. It's great to have. Honestly, one thing yeah. one thing I want to say, everybody know how to attack. Everybody know what is a fist, what is a kick. Nobody know how to defend uh, against some, some attacks. You learn how to defend yourself. It's not uh, violent, okay? We, le- we need you, uh, we learn you, we teach you. How to defend yourself. Self-defense. Self-defense. All right, let's continue. Guys, hold on. We'll see if Rich calls. We've got the Stooge Report coming up, which people love. Billy Cunningham, 30 minutes after the hour, The Great American, on News Radio 700 WLW. Hello. 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 Huh. Huh. Oh. Quiet, numbskulls. I'm broadcasting. Go for it, you bonehead. <laughs> oh, right, guy. My read is still <laughs> stuck in my... <laughs> Because it's all your fault. There's only one thing to do. Segment at I watched that this morning with my grandkids, SpongeBob, were SquarePants. You, were you picked on at all by bullies at Coleraine? And could yeah. you have used at that point? And you know what? I, I want to. I want to get back at him in my next right reunion. Now. What can I do? Well, now Israel, you tell him don't attack anybody. What? But if they attack you, then it's on. But segment, don't be aggressive. Don't be offensive. But when they attack you... That ought to be your motto. What a gavone you are. You should go back to stirring the marinara sauce. Thank you. At La Rosa's. The segment, this man is an expert in Krav Maga, which is a form I thought he of played for the Cyclones. Israeli self-defense. <laughs> or I thought he was a Reds minor leaguer. So when Tracy Jones walks in here every day and starts kicking your ass, Krav Maga. Well, Tracy knows Brazilian jiu-jitsu. 